Welcome back to the Dead Zone Podcast presents Professor Jack's Hobby School. This is Making Fire, Part 3. Um, where we last left off, we were, had made a core of a yellow silicone-based fire. Uh, we had then added onto that an, an orange uh, layer to build up the color, get it more flame-like. Now you'll see I've let it cure a little bit longer. You can see that I'm, I'm, I'm nudging the top of the fire with the skewer. It's, uh, it's, it's set up just enough that I can uh, then now add another level. I'm going to add another dollop for each of these fire cores that we have. Again, the orange was half the size of our original yellow core. Now this final dollop we've put down here is, a, uh, is about a third. And we're going to mix in a red acrylic. I like to use a, a nice bright red for this. But you'll see I'm using just a, a, a tiny amount of pigment. The paint that I've put on there is, is, is it's, again, you can go overboard. You can add too much and it makes the silicone too opaque. Mix that up. Get that all mixed in. I've left some of the white showing and we're going to keep that. We want, we want to be able to see through it. It's got to be translucent, transparent in spots. Again, look at that. Just the tiniest bit of color. You don't want to go overboard. Mix that up. Get that all mixed in. We're going to add the red to the core of the yellow and the orange just like we did before. Take the spots that don't have that much orange, add this new layer there. You want to make nice licks of flame. The red will be near the top. Bottom's going to be yellow. You're going to see a orange body middle area, but the top is going to be red. And that's what you want to do. You want to get this layer close to the top, all the little tongues of flame coming up. You want them to blend in with the first two layers, accentuate, highlight, and also don't be afraid to make a streak of red up the side from the core where there's only, only a bit of yellow or even just transparent. You see, I'm, I'm just putting it here, putting it there. And again, it's very difficult to mess this up. As chaotic as it looks, the more realistic the fire looks at the end. Trust me on this. The silicone I'm using is a, uh, is a white silicone that dries clear. Very important. The drying clear is the important part. There's a lot of... That's Rob sending me an email. Interesting. Now you see again. I'm uh, I'm on the uh, I, I, I'm on the third layer of the red, just moving the moving the silicone up, flicking it. You're going to get these little spires, these little tongues of silicone. Move it around the base. Move it around the top. This layer is going to uh, is is going to bring everything together around the core, making it look like fire and it's the technique the technique takes some time you have to get used to doing that moving it up moving it up and when you when you think that you have a nice a nice flickering flame just move on the worst thing you can do is keep trying to perfect you're going to have some time in the fourth video, we're going to show you, you have some time to, to make things, uh, to change things up, to do different things. But you want to, once you get something that looks reasonable, just move on. And you can see now at the base of the fire, especially on the yellow core, you can see it's starting to be transparent. You're starting to see it dry. And that's the important thing, that you're going to see clear silicone.
Doesn't look like much now. But if you've seen from the, the, the pictures from the podcast, the Dead Zone podcast, of the miniatures, the actual terrain pieces where I've used this technique, the end results are nice. And they photograph well, it looks natural. Now, what I'm doing now is the final step that kind of adds to highlight and to really, instead of having three distinct colors, the yellow, the orange, and the red, uh, in just the silicone, I like to highlight with red paint. This is straight red paint and very minimal. Don't go overboard, just highlight in spots. Now, this red paint will be a bright red streak it mixes things up it changes the way the exterior looks and i think it's the final step that really adds a natural look thank you for joining me and the dead zone podcast and uh, stay tuned for the fourth and final installment of how to make fire